Hi there, my name is Chris Allery. I'm a financial advisor with Bowie Financial. And I wanted to make a quick video today to summarize segregated funds. I feel as though they're a terrific investment product that does not get talked about enough. And I feel as though a lot of the time I'm speaking with clients, it's the first time they're hearing about it. And so I wanted to make a video to quickly summarize some of the advantages of seg funds because they're a terrific fit uh, for retirees or soon to be retirees. Uh, that are looking to stay in the markets, but want to have a little bit more protection on their investments. And another big advantage that SEG funds offer is the estate advantages. Uh, it's the ability to bypass estate administrative taxes and the probate fees and, and all the things that come along with being tied up in the estate. Uh, they make them a much more efficient investment product for certain investors. Um, so I wanted to quickly highlight some of those uh, advantages in the hopes of educating more people by doing it in video. So let me share my screen here. Um, okay, so what I have here is a document that we have, uh, that we give out here at our office. Um, if you'd like it uh, to read through it yourself, uh, you can either give me a call or send me an email. I'd be very happy to send you the whole document and you can read through it yourself, uh, or you can give me a call. We can sit down and talk about it together. Um, but what are seg funds? So seg funds are market investments. So uh, uh, just similar to mutual funds, they do go up and they do go down, um, but there are some distinct differences. And so some of the distinct differences and advantages of seg funds uh, and what they highlight is the ability to avoid probing, um, which is the estate administrative tax. Um, it's that lengthy period uh, of where uh, you know, it can take sometimes up to a year or more to be uh, processed and settled. Um, it, it, is a, it is a timely, costly process that uh, investments held in site funds completely bypass. And uh, another huge advantage that site funds have is they allow you to put guarantees on your investments while still remaining in the market. Um, so you're able to put a protection on your principal investment. Um, it also offers creditor protection. So for business owners, uh, that can certainly be a big advantage. Um, and it's also a great way to transfer wealth. Um, so what I put together uh, in this document is uh, it's a side by side comparison of a segregated fund uh, versus the much more popular um, uh, and well known mutual funds, um, just in terms of the differences. Uh, because it is a segregated fund is essentially a mutual fund with an insurance wrapper on it that allows you to put guarantees on your investments, that allows you to uh, bypass the estate process, that allows you to name beneficiaries and secondary beneficiaries as well. Uh, of course, they're both regulated um, and, and governed federally uh, when it comes to uh, creditor protection and uh, insolvency uh, protection. Uh, of course, they do offer uh, a Investment growth, as I mentioned, they are in the, in the markets. There's a great range of diversification. Um, so whether you're a conservative investor or a balanced investor, or you want to be an aggressive investor, um, there's all wide ranges of, uh, of uh, investment styles within segregated funds. Um, the, but the, the, the major difference with the site funds is it comes with 75 to 100 percent protection on your investments uh, as a death benefit. So what that means is that let's say you invest hundred thousand dollars and your investment drops due to poor market performance to eighty five thousand dollars and you pass away. In a segregated fund, if you were to have the hundred percent death benefit protection, your beneficiaries at a minimum would still inherit the hundred thousand dollars you invested. So it's a guarantee. And in the case that if your investment grows from 100 to 120,000 at the time of death, the market value being higher than the guarantee, your beneficiaries will then receive the 120,000. So it's, it's insurance on your investment. It's a guarantee that at a minimum, whatever you would deposit into the investment, that's what your beneficiaries are gonna inherit at death. And um, where, of course, there is no guarantee on mutual funds, right? So it's, it's whatever the market value is. If that $100,000 investment drops to eighty-five, dollars 
well, then that's what your beneficiaries are going to receive is the 85. So this offers an extra uh, cushion there. Um, in times of uncertainty, in times of volatility in the market, uh, you can put a guarantee on your investment and still remain in the markets. So you can get that great growth when it's there. But in times of volatility, at least you have 100% protection on your investment. And so it's, uh, it's a terrific fit for uh, retirees looking to secure uh, a portion of their investment or all their investment uh, and have it efficiently pass on to whether it's your spouse, children, charities, neighbors, friends, uh, whoever it is you'd like that money to be set aside for, it's a great way to do that. Um, and the other uh, major advantage that it has is that it bypasses uh, probate. As I, as I had mentioned. And so it doesn't get tied up in that lengthy process, isn't subject to, to estate taxes, uh, legal fees and accounting fees, where again, uh, on the mutual fund side of things, it's a different story. And, uh, and of course we did mention the, the creditor protection for business owners. Um, it is eligible for all, mainly all your accounts, uh, whether that's RSPs, TFSAs, cash accounts, uh, Liras, uh, you name it, it's essentially uh, uh, could be fit uh, right into a segregated fund investment uh, to have that death benefit guarantee. Um, this document does go into uh, the tax implications and how it's, it's actually more efficient uh, tax wise on the non registered side of things as well. Again, it's a great side by side comparison of how they're taxed uh, throughout the year. Um, and the, both are eligible for capital gains as well as capital losses. Um, so they have that flexibility. And uh, one thing that I wanna show quickly as well. So this is uh, an estate comparison. And again, we're comparing a mutual fund versus a segregated fund. And so in this case, what we start off with is $100,000 over a 15 year period and receiving a 5% annual uh, rate of return. And so uh, when the investment grows and the market values up to 207,000 and change after that, uh, after that 15 years, um, and of course this is at death, okay? Um, because the mutual fund is subject to the estate fees such as probate fees, accounting fees, executor fees, legal fees, surrender fees, um, what the beneficiary would be left with is about $183,000. Of course, this is just for illustration purposes, using estimations um, and just rough figures at, uh, and percentages for fees. Of course, these, these do change uh, almost every time. Um, but uh, but the, the comparison is that on the seg fund side of things, uh, the 207,000, because it bypasses the estate, goes directly to the beneficiary it's not subject to all these fees here. So what the beneficiary is left with is the, is the total amount, the 207,000. Um, so it's a fairly significant difference in, in what the beneficiary ends up receiving of about $24,000 in this example. Um, and if you flip it on the other side, if instead of uh, it making you money, it actually loses you money, in this illustration, that 100,000 is going through a 2% loss year over year. Now in the mutual fund side of things, uh, because there are no guarantees, there are no protections, um, and the market value has dropped from 100,000 to 73,000 at death, again, um, there is no death benefit guarantee. It still has to go through all the same probate and accounting and, and legal fees um, that the beneficiary is now left with the $65,000 from the original $100,000 investment. Whereas on the side fund side of things, because um, the market value again has dropped to $73,000, but they have a death benefit guarantee. So it's still at $100,000 that the beneficiary receives. And of course, it doesn't go through the estate process, so it's not subject to fees. What the beneficiary ends up receiving is the original $100,000. And of course, it's a substantial difference. So I just wanted to make this video highlighting this because I feel as though not enough people know about it um, as a possible option. I think it's certainly suitable for a lot of retirees 
Um, and, and not just on the, the death benefit side of things, um, just as a, as, a, as a way to help you sleep well at night uh, when the markets are going up and down, um, it's, it's much more uh, assuring that at least if the markets do uh, go through a, a period of losses, at least you have protection on your, money, on your investment. Um, it also allows you to chase higher returns if that's the way you want to look at it as well, because you know you have 100% guarantee in your money. Um, so you can go slightly a little bit more aggressive, maybe. Um, there, there's all kinds of ways you can look at it, um, but it, it, it's just a way of stamping 100% protection on your money um, while still being in the markets. If you, if you don't like being in the GICs uh, because you don't like ha not having access to your money, um, and paying interest income every year um, and you want to stay in the markets and chase a little bit more growth, even as a conservative investor, even if you're happy with the four, five, six percent rate of returns, this could be a perfect product for you and it could be the first time you're hearing about it. So that's why I'm doing this video. And of course, if you have questions, if you, if you want to need to know more uh, of these, I'm a phone call or email away. I'm very happy to sit down with whoever's interested and just review their situation, review their assets, and see if this is a right fit for you. Uh, of course, we do plenty of other products, uh, but this is a great one, and it's, it's ideal for a lot of people. Um, it's a way to uh, be sure that uh, your beneficiaries are going to inherit a, a, a solid chunk of money. <laughs> and um, so that's my video today. Um, I hope you found it educational. I hope it was easy to watch. And uh, yeah, any follow-up questions, uh, please don't hesitate to contact me. I believe my contact information should be somewhere near this video. And uh, yeah, all the best to everybody for a great 2023 upcoming. Thank you.